your brother took away 80,000 naira from our account and he didn't let me know for his mother's illness. Call him now to tell him to return back the money into the account. If not, this house will be too hot for him today. This house will be too hot for him today. Happy New Year, friends and families. Wow, 2021 is finally here. The year we've been all waiting for. I trust 2020 was good in your sight. No matter what, we have to give God all the glory. This year, we are going to base more on Christian short dramas that will interpret a message to us. And I trust the Spirit of God to help us to understand every message He brings to us through this channel. And in case you've not yet subscribed, please do click, click the red button down below so that you will be notified when new videos drops in this channel. And then please, if you like this video, also click on the like button and also comment down below so that I will know that somebody as beautiful and blessed as you is here in this channel. It's a privilege to have you here. God bless you. Please click, click, click the red button down below. Let's go into the movie proper. Hello, honey. Ah, what a bad network. Oh, the files. I thought we submitted these files the other day. Hello? Yes, I thought we submitted these files the other day to the company. But you would have said it now. I just came to work this morning and found that it's still on my desk. Okay, please let me quickly round up on it so that you can take it to the company. You know we need this contract. Okay, I'll call you back later, please. Thank you. Good help. Debit alert, but I didn't apply to withdraw any money. Oh. I think Honey withdrew money, but he didn't tell me. Maybe I should call him. Hello, Honey. Yes, I just. Oh, before I go into that, good afternoon. How is your day going, please? Mine is fine as well. All glory I give to God. I thank God. Yes, I was just working on a file that we were supposed to submit on Friday. But I discovered my secretary didn't submit it. So I had to sign it for her to take it to the company. Yes, sir. I called you because I received a debit alert of 80,000 naira withdrawn from our joint account. So I was worried, you know, with all this fraud going on these days. Did you withdraw money from the account? Ah, you did. Okay, yes. I think, yes, I received your call, but I, when I picked it up, I didn't hear what you were saying. So I felt it's a bad network. Okay, you were trying to reach me. You received a call that Mama is sick. Oh my God. To the extent of taking her to the theater. Oh, I guess that explains why you withdrew money so fast. Okay, okay. You sent it to them. Okay, no problem. We'll talk about it when I get home. Please don't panic, okay? She will be fine. I trust God that he will take care of her and the doctors as well will work on that divine dimension from God. Please, don't be worried. She will be fine, okay? So, how were you able to get my signature in the check? Okay, don't worry. When, we, when I come back home, we'll talk about it. Okay? I'm just fine. <laughs> you know, I had to confirm. I had to call you to confirm with the rate of fraud going on everywhere. 
Okay, okay, sir. Love you. Bye. Bye. Let me quickly round up with my work. Bye, sir. Oh my god. I was so <laughs> worried that who would have withdrawn money from my from my account without letting me know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Even if you were trying to reach me online on phone and I didn't pick up, when I picked up, you didn't hear what I was saying. Why did you not continue calling? You would have continued calling. You would have continued calling. Even if you tried reaching me online and I didn't pick, keep calling. Why would you go ahead to withdraw money from the account without letting me know? That is why it's called a joint account. Everything should be joint. Everything should be agreed on before it is done. Yes. Yes, you are wrong. Yes, you know I don't like this. You know I don't like this. That is why I said, let me run my personal account. You said no. That the family should run a joint account. Now look at what you're doing. You went ahead and withdrew 80,000 naira without letting me know. Is that right? And this is not the first time you're doing this. Don't say anything to me. I don't want to listen. I don't want to hear anything from you. Don't say anything to me. Don't say anything to me. You would have waited until I, I picked your call before you go ahead to withdraw. That is why it's a joint account. Joint account means everybody has to give their approval before money is being taken out from the account. And then you went ahead to withdraw 80,000 naira. Then what I did, what, what, how, okay, did you ask me how I got to know? Had it been I didn't receive a debit alert, I wouldn't have known you took money out from the account. Your family called you that your mother is sick. That is not a good reason, even if she is hospitalized, that is not a good reason to withdraw money from our, safe, from our joint account without letting me know. And you have always been doing this. This is not your first time. You have always been doing this. I'm closing this, this joint account. I'm no more interested. Yes. You have always been doing that. You have always been doing that. Even if you try getting me online and you didn't get you didn't reach me, keep calling me. I must approve it before you take that money from the account. Why is it called a joint account then? Why? I'm closing down the account. I'm no more interested, please. I'm no more interested. I'm no more interested in the account. Let's close it down. What is going on? Eh? Every time this man will look for things to be up to use to upset me. And now he went ahead to withdraw 80,000 naira from my account. Had it been I didn't receive a debit and large from my phone, I wouldn't have known what he has done. Come back home, I'm waiting for you. I am waiting for you at home. I am waiting for you. Okay, let me go ahead to call your sister because when this trouble will get out of hand, she will be the one to blame me that I'm the one causing problem for her brother. I will call her now to let her know. Pick up your phone, pick up your phone. What kind of marriage is this? Eh? A man doesn't know his limit. Yes, Sister Margaret. Sister Margaret, please. I am not happy. I'm not happy. Don't calm me down. Because this is how it begins. And when it gets out of hand, you say, ah, I'm the one causing problems. Look at it now. Your brother went to our account and withdrew 80,000 naira, And he didn't let me know. He didn't let me know. Even if his mother is sick, even if his mother is sick, is he the only child of the woman? Is he the only child his mother gave birth to? Don't you people have other relations that you should call? Don't you know that he's already a family man? And that he, and that he, he, he should put his family first before, before his extended families. I just want to let you know, so that when the problem will begin now, you will know what is the cause of the problem. Call him now to tell him to return back the money into the account. If not, this house will be too hot for him today. This house will be too hot for him today. I have said it all. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. In fact, I just called you to let you know what is going on. Bye. You see? Did you hear what the sister said? That the mother is because the mother is sick and is hospitalized. Even if the mother is hospitalized, is she not a woman? Why did she not take away, take money from her own family's account? Why? Why will it be my own family's account that they will always target to take out money from? My husband will come back and meet me today.
Hi, I welcome you back to the program Bless Family. Wow, did you see that reaction from the second woman? <laughs> Wonderful. I can't even imagine doing that. I can't. I'm telling you, I can't imagine doing that. What an arrogant and disrespectful character. There is nothing godly in that kind of attitude. There is nothing godly in that at all. Ah, God. But did you see the first woman's reaction? Even when her husband didn't let her know that he wants to take out money from the account, she still composed herself. You know, she, she chose her words with wisdom. And when she dished it out, it just appeared so, so gentle and so respectful. I really appreciate that first woman. And I want to be like that. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Dear sisters, I want to encourage us to, to choose our words rightly. Yes, choose your words rightly. What has the power to build and it has the power to, to tear down? The way you use your words in your home, people in, around people around you, the way you use your words determines who you are. A lot of times we tell people, I'm a child of God, I'm a Christian, but our attitude defines us. How do you behave at home and outside your home? How do you handle matters that comes to you unexpectedly? I encourage you to imitate that very first woman. She's so classy and so organized, so respectful and so wise. But you see that second woman, please, throw away that character. You see what she did? She went ahead to call the husband's sister. A matter that just happened in the family a few minutes ago, she already took it out from the family. Without even waiting for her husband to come home, so that they will settle it amicably. She already called her, her um, sister-in-law to, to complain to her. It's a bad character. Let us not, uh, uh, not learn that. Let us not you know, allow such character to dwell in us. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Remember, a wise woman builds her home, but the foolish woman plucked it out with her own hands. I will be expecting your subscription. I will be expecting your likes and your comments. Please, if you like this video, show it by clicking the button there that says like. Please also comment. Let me know what you think about this particular episode. And I will do more by the grace of God. Bye till we meet again.